back on the channel with Galaxy A51 and today we're gonna try to fix a few issues like the Wi-Fi connectivity or data connectivity first you just have to make sure you know all the passwords for your router also if the router is installed properly so today we're gonna try to do all these settings very slowly and even if you know or don't I'm gonna try to do it for all of you for let's say those who doesn't uh, connect to the Wi-Fi yet all you have to do is to go on the settings connections and uh, tick on Wi-Fi to connect if you can see at the moment it's connected it's on but if you want to connect to a network see if searching for one it's connected let's disconnect this one for the moment let's see get and that's it now the same for this one connecting settings get and that's it i just disconnect for both wi-fi and at this moment if i want to connect to one of those it's asking for my password so yeah, if you want to connect to the Wi-Fi first, you need to put your password. Okay. If you don't put the right password, it's not going to connect to the Wi-Fi. Let's hope it's going to connect now. And uh, it's connected. Yeah. Next step is still not working. Let's say you are connected to the Wi-Fi, but it's not working. I always try to disconnect once and then just connect it again and the next step would be to go on the flight mode because if I put this flight mode let's see where is it on where is it flight flight mode is gonna disconnect my Wi-Fi or if you are on the data mobile it's gonna disconnect your mobile data and also the signal if you got problems with the signal on your phone so this Wi-Fi uh, is gonna be reconnecting now see the fly mode disconnect everything all the signals even on my uh, sim cards and it should restart if I can say your Wi-Fi network or the mobile data now let's try to do the network mode in order to do that you just have to go on the settings go on connections mobile networks and then see you got this option here network mode sim 1 or network mode sim 2 let's stop once and you can choose between 2g 3g or 3g to 2g auto connect or the first one 2G, 3G and LTE which means 4G and auto connect you'll see all these modes and I'll suggest to just leave on auto connect because if you are in a zone where you don't have 4G signal it's gonna move automatically on the 3G if you can see Galaxy A51 supports two SIM cards so I got two SIM cards so I can move between uh, one or the other one and also I can choose which one can use uh, the mobile data let's see how we can set up a data limit all we have to go is to choose uh, mobile data scroll one more time swipe down and choose mobile data it's on and I'm gonna go on the details if you can see that's it and now we go the data usage we got the data saver which is on on this moment that's it switch it on and then we got mobile data mobile data only apps and mobile data usage okay let's tap on this one and if you can see you can choose which day you're gonna start to use your data let's say your pay monthly is gonna reset on every month on the let's see on the 12 we're gonna set up 12 and we're gonna active these options set data warning and data warning is gonna be let's say uh, I don't know when we reach 8 gigabytes let's set up this 
and we got the limit also on 9 gigabytes so once we reach uh, data warning 8 gigabytes we're gonna know that we still have 1 gigabyte left until we're gonna finish all our data from that period of time one month let's say of course if you are on that uh, monthly data if you are on pay as you go you're probably gonna have a different usage so you can set up like i did on my device and now let's move on mobile data issue so we're gonna discuss about the mobile data issue this is also known as connectivity issue this issue is one of the most frequent problems in the android os version but don't worry as you can solve this issue quickly by network setting reset options and how we can do that in order to do that you just have to go on settings and scroll down about phone swipe down again reset option and you're gonna have this reset network settings let's move on and you got the option again to choose between sim 1 or sim 2 so we're just gonna go on uh, sim 1 for now and if you can see this will reset all network settings including the Wi-Fi mobile data and the Bluetooth and then all you have to do is tap on reset if you got the password just put it on and all you have to do is to press one more time on reset pressing that you're gonna reset all the network settings including the Wi-Fi data and the Bluetooth after that simple just tap one more time on this K menu you got this icon tap it once and restart your phone after that you're gonna restart all the settings once again and this may fix your problem with the Wi-Fi or the data let's move on uh, data roaming so let's say if you travel in other countries you probably gonna want to switch on data roaming being in the Europe if you travel from let's say UK to France you can use the data from that UK network into the France at no extra cost but let's say if you travel from India or China into the Europe you may be charged for that uh, data but how we can enable the, the data roaming well you just have to go on settings again connections mobile networks and you can see this option data roaming you just have to press once and it's gonna be enabled if you can see I'm using data at this moment and I'm using also the data from a network from UK being in Romania on this time which is not too bad I don't have to buy another sim card just to use my data but always you can connect on the Wi-Fi which is even better if you can see if I deactivate the data roaming I'm gonna lose the connectivity because I left of course what it doesn't say me what no it doesn't say me I lost the data of course so just uh, press on data roaming if you are in another country let's say if you still got problem with the Wi-Fi connection or the internet connection you can always check on the updates doing that you have to go on settings again about software updates and if you can see my last update was installed on 8th of March on Galaxy A51 but let's say if you don't have this update you just have to press on uh, let's activate the Wi-Fi okay back again about software updates download and install and on this moment the phones try to connect to the server looking for an update for my device but like I said was updated on 8th of March and we received this update security and the stability of camera for Galaxy A50 so this was the update for March but you can always check these updates because Samsung may release an update to fix the Wi-Fi problems the camera problems the fingerprint sensor 
and uh, all of that in one update so it's worth to try for an update for your galaxy 51 so if your internet is still not working last we're gonna do today in this video is to wipe the cache partition how are we gonna do that e, well you just have to scroll one more time and press on this power button and we're gonna power off our device so how are we gonna wipe the cache partition if the smartphone is off next we're gonna press the volume up key and the power key like this once this logo is showing up we're gonna release this uh, power key and then we got this menu so we're gonna release also the volume up key and we got a few options right here now to navigate through this menu you just have to use this uh, up and down uh, volume and then if you want to press ok just press on the power button so to move down we're gonna press this down key from the volume and we got these options let's see reboot system now reboot to bootloader Apply updates from ADB, Apply updates from SD card if you got an update on your card. Wipe data factory reset. With these options, you can reset the whole device, the whole smartphone. So it's going to start like first time when you bought it. And then we got this option, wipe cache partition. And if we want to choose this one, and yes, we want to choose this one, we're just going to press OK. And then uh, we're going to move up one more time, no and yes. So if you can see, this cannot be undone. So make sure you want to wipe this cache partition. So we're just going to press yes once. See what's going to happen. Wiping cache. Cache, wipe complete, complete, complete. And then all we have to do is to reboot the system now press ok one more time and we're just gonna have to wait for the smartphone to start so on this video i just shown you a few steps on how you can fix the wi-fi problem maybe the data problem and for bluetooth probably would be the same settings just deactivate activate search for devices okay swipe to unlock I got a small password all of you know my password now the phone is starting now and after that the phone should working a little bit better also that uh, wiping uh, step is gonna empty a bit of memory from your device which is not that bad so yeah these are only a few steps on how you can fix your problem with Wi-Fi connectivity and the data connectivity. Maybe on a further video, we're going to do even more problems that are available for this Galaxy A51 because Galaxy A50 had a problem with the overheating or slow performance, um, data problems, Bluetooth problems. So we're going to try to fix that in another video. So being said, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon with another video.